All right, good morning, Rock Block. I am so sorry that I am missing you all today, um, but I did want to give you a recording of the lesson for the day so that you can still watch this during our Rock Block time. Um, we're not going to do the little grounding activity, but I do still want you to do the take time, so make sure that you leave yourself about 10 minutes to read your book. Um, so today in this little recording, we will be reviewing the portrait of a graduate attributes and the traits of a creative and critical thinker and an ethical and global citizen. If you remember back to Tuesday, we talked about being a communicator and collaborator. So we are continuing to expand uh, by looking at two new traits. We are doing this so that I will be able to recognize when I am using the skills of a creative and critical thinker and a global ethical and global citizen. I'll know I've got it when I'm able to identify my areas of strength and growth as a creative and critical thinker and as a ethical and global citizen. So again, the refresher, this is what we talked about on Tuesday. We talked about how portrait of a graduate has five main attributes and each, each attribute has a collection of different skills. So communicator skills include I read to understand, evaluate and learn. I use research when creating new ideas. I listen and ask questions, paraphrase ideas, or make connections that further my understanding. I plan to speak to a specific audience by selecting meaningful topics and language that engages others. I plan, organize, and revise my writing for an intended purpose and audience by blending ideas and concepts. And I use digital tools to research ideas and make my message more effective. Some skills that fall under collaborator include I respectfully listen to different ideas and am able to discuss them. I work with my team to accomplish tasks. I ensure all points of view are considered when exploring an issue. I ask my team what they think of my work and use their advice to improve my work. And I work with others until assignments on assignments until they are finished, even if they are difficult. We shared some examples of how we were a communicator and how we were a collaborator in our class on Tuesday. So take a moment and think back to those. And like I said, moving forward, we're going to start discussing the remaining attributes, beginning with creative and critical thinker. So we're going to go ahead and watch this video. And I really hope the sound works. I want to make sure that the sound works. I am a creative and critical thinker. I am a creative and critical thinker. I am a creative and critical thinker. Creative and critical thinking to me is mostly analysis mixed in with a little bit of individuality and uniqueness. You create your own masterpiece. You create something unique to yourself. I try to look at everything that people have said, you know, my side, the things that the opposing side says, and then try to create a more formulated idea of what's going on. I normally sit down, take some notes, and figure it out um, which way would be the best for me. A place I use it more subconsciously is when I'm looking at like current affairs and I'm looking at the news. I try not to look at it from like a biased perspective. I try to look at everything. Basically, there's layers of th good thinking. My favorite parts of being critical and a creative thinker is that, uh, the, is that the different types of experiences that you share with me, between your classmates. When somebody it usually thinks outside of the box, and if they have one option, they wouldn't right away use that option. They would think of other options to use and look at which one would affect the most on the outcome. We kind of like put everybody's idea together and made um, a big idea. I think that it's, it's a really fun way to share your own experiences and your own different methods. 
uh, going about and solving the same problem. Kind of opens your eyes to how the world is and how it could be. My best ideas are right here. How are you a creative and critical thinker? So with that nifty video in mind, um, these are the skills that fall under the creative and critical thinking attribute. So they include, I ask questions and look for new solutions to solve problems. I apply what I have learned to new situations. I create through the designing and building process. I can share my thinking, ideas, and feelings through the performing arts. I evaluate sources for validity, relevancy, and the impact it has on others and I use evidence to support my conclusions. Next up, we've got ethical and global citizen. So here is the little video for that. I am an ethical and global citizen. I am an ethical and global citizen. Je suis an ethical and global citizen. An ethical and global citizen is somebody that is like aware of the global issues and how they can ethically deal with them. Being an ethical and global citizen takes a lot of courage and you have to feel really like strong, strong and brave in your own words and sort of know what you're doing. Setting the example, being somebody who you know, not only can be um, practicing being a global citizen, but also being a leader. Honestly, feels like you have kind of a burden, which is a good burden. I just have a passion for spending time with people who have special needs, and I find it really important to give them representation, the representation that they deserve. If nobody was an ethical and global citizen, this world would not be nearly as good as it is right now. My parents were like, Mom, we're going to move to Tunisia um, because I want you to learn French and Arabic. So I, I know some Arabic too. I got there, I was like, this is such a different place. A global ethical citizen being one feels very inspiring and it gives us a chance to really drive the point home of what needs to be done, even if it can't be done straight away. Being an ethical and global citizen makes me a better person and it's helped improve my thinking ability, my imagination, and uh, how I see myself in the world. Some of the challenges might be it might not be benefit you, which a lot of people would try and get. So it could be hard to think about other people and other perspectives as an equal to your perspective or what you think. Being an ethical and global citizen looks like um, looks like strength and it looks like um, it looks like happiness to me. The project is about we, like how we can help other people. With kids who need help, we tutor them. I, with the recycling here at Linear. It's Doctors of Tomorrow. It's International Night. Solar on the Schools, which is dedicated to putting uh, solar panels on FCPS schools. There are boys that are falling into child labor, that there are girls that are being rushed into child marriages. So I worked with an organization that provided education to these kids. How are you an ethical and global citizen? And so with that video of our ethical and global citizen attribute, these are the skills that fall under it. They include, I understand that there are other cultures and perspectives when considering ideas. I am aware of the feelings of others and am respectful of their point of view. I participate in activities that benefit my community. I am learning to communicate in another language so that I can connect with others in the world. I consider the impact on the environment when I make daily choices. I understand the foundations of rights, privileges, and responsibilities in the United States. I look for ways to be helpful to others, and I demonstrate leadership by being trustworthy and ethical. So there are a lot of different things that fall in being an ethical and global citizen. So we're just going to take a minute to break this down and talk for a second about what these skills look like and sound like. So if we're looking at the skill, I understand that there are different cultures and perspectives in the world. 
we might see someone visiting credible news websites in order to learn more. Starting conversations by asking, did you read or did you see this piece of information, this piece of news from the credible news site? And thinking or asking, how does this event or person impact our world? If we're looking at the skill, I am aware of the feelings of others and I'm respectful of their point of view. This could look like or sound like considering another person's community or sorry, considering another person's or community's perspective. Um, it could sound like the phrase, I understand your point of view. Have you thought about it this way? Which is a really respectful way to talk to someone who maybe has a different point of view than you do. And by asking questions like, can you tell me more about your idea? As we're looking at the skill, I participate in activities that benefit my community. This could look like being responsible for yourself and your space, whether that's your classroom, uh, your room that you are in right now viewing this lesson from, your school as a whole or your home. It can look like volunteering when it helps others and or helps the community. And it can sound like you asking that phrase, how can I help? And for the skill, I am learning to communicate in another language so that I can connect with others in the world. Especially if you're in a language class right now, this super applies to you. But it could look like embracing that new language and or, diff and or dialect differences. It could include asking questions about the culture itself, so not just the language, but the whole culture behind it. And by asking to further your understanding, how do you say this word? So as we move forward, um, we're going to continue to have these exit tickets. This is linked in our Schoology class. So go ahead and find that exit ticket and complete that so that we have a better understanding of what you feel like your strengths are as a creative and critical thinker and ethical and global citizen, what you feel like your areas of growth are. Uh, thank you all for your patience and for going through this. I'm sorry again that I couldn't be here today, but I will see you all on Monday at 845. Have a great rest of your day.